Hello, and you are welcome to our series on SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. For today's session, we want to look at our business process flow, which serves as a guide for users for their tasks. It allows the business process to be prepackaged in a set of tasks assigned to different departments and users in the organization. We want to begin by creating our process template, which represents a step-by-step -step process flow. In this scenario, our process template would begin with our first step, which we would give a name as administration, with a focus of maintaining budget office details by the budget office team. So details, some of the details which they can go ahead to maintain for this step would include imports of actuals from our previous year budget and also maintaining of our current budget year rates. We want to go ahead and give this the name as CAPEX to depict our, our model. Our description as capital expenditure. Go ahead to select the module as capital expenditure. We want to include category in our identity dimension. Our process monitor, we want to give to our test user. So we go ahead to create our first step of activity, which we would give the name administration. Our description is maintain budget office detail. Our driving dimension, we want to select a cost center as the dimension. Go ahead to select our specific dimension member, which is SAP. Our performer, we want to select the team budget office capture. We now want to go ahead to create our workspace, which we are going to include a hyperlink where we can just click on our input template to give us a, to click on our input template to maintain our budget office details. So we go ahead and give this the name as details. Description as maintain budget office details. We name this hyperlink as details. and go ahead and select a specific input template. So we can browse for that template. Then we can go ahead and save this. So our workspace has been saved. We can go ahead and close this page. We won't require a reviewer for this our deadline. We can go ahead and put three days for our deadline. And after the deadline, we still want this activity to wait. We don't want to close the activity when we go past our deadline. Mm -hmm. So we can click on our save button. Our process template has been saved and validated. So we can click on the back Go ahead and save the changes. And so our template has been created, but our version is in a draft mode. So we would have to go ahead and we, our status is, is valid. So we don't have to go ahead to revalidate this um, template. So we can just go ahead and click on our deploy and our template has been deployed. Now to make this template um, active for our users, we would have to create a process instance. 
No, our process instance is an iteration of our process template that is in active use. So we just want to go ahead and create and activate the template which we just created. So we can click on our next button, maintain our user as the test user, select our specific dimension member for category and time. Go ahead to select our performer. We can also, we also have the option of scheduling this process to begin in whatever day or month that we choose, or we can have a manual start. So in this scenario, we want to leave it at a manual start. So click on finish. So we can go ahead and close this. And we are able to see that our process instance has been created, but our status is suspended since we wanted to um, activate this manually. So you can just go ahead and click on our start button and immediately we see that our status tends to run in. So this is how to create our process templates and our process instance. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments below and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.